Welcome to another Founder Wisdom Podcast. We have Fiona Robertson with us today. She is the founder of newflands.co.nz. You can go check out her website. She helps uh, to move people and animals uh, to new countries. She even teaches pets on how to swim. She has a bunch of natural product made for pets as well. So it's pretty cool business in New Zealand. This uh, podcast is brought to you by podpire.com if you want to start or scale a podcast. Fiona, welcome to the pod. Tell me a bit more about yourself and what you're up to nowadays. Oh, thank you, Charles. I really appreciate the offer. Um, so I um, have, a, have a small business in New Zealand that I run. So we help people move over sh- offshore with their animals. So when they're moving to, say, somewhere like Chile or Mexico or Brazil, um, we help them move their pets there as well so they don't leave their precious family members behind. Um, I also have a small kennel and a cattery here that we have on site. We have a dog park where I teach people how to teach their dogs to swim. We also have that course available online as well. And we have a range of products that are all ready for export. And, you know, if anybody's interested in in picking up our products and, and representing us in other countries, we're more than happy to talk to you. So, yeah, um, yeah, all based on New Zealand natural products that are sustainable. So we're we're all about, you know, making sure that what we're doing to the planet is actually going to ensure that that can continue well after I've gone. Well, and uh, why swimming as a niche, like, um, and why not, for example, uh, behavior correction in in animals? Um, because swimming, to me, my our first big breed of dog was a Newfoundland dog, and their natural instinct is water. They rescue people out of the water. They're used in Italy for water. I've been up to the EU and done a little bit of water work up there. Um, and done some training up there and I just wanted to um, get that into New Zealand and get people to understand we're surrounded by water we're a country that is surrounded by water and yet we don't utilize our canine friends to their ability so that's what I was trying to do Um, and yeah it, it it led me into teaching people how to teach your dogs to swim. I love the dock diving that's going on in North America at the moment I would love to see that worldwide because swimming is the most safest um the most the best form of exercise for a pet when it comes to joint health um and cardio health as long as it's not overdone and as long as it's well supervised um just like humans it's it's just an amazing um exercise that we don't participate fully in right and i guess yeah card is important the business um uh, got started almost uh, 15 years ago because um, your Newfoundland dog, Rosie, had a terminal heart condition. Back then, you were into fish oil uh, supplement, and you've developed these nowadays. Um, but tell us about like how, how it got all started and the business, uh, the story of the new Newfoundland's business, that is. Yeah. So um, I had my dogs. Um, we were... I was a breeder back then. I don't breed as much anywhere near as much now. In fact, only if I want a puppy. Um, And I was taking my animals. um, There were three girls that I was going to get spayed, but I wanted to do pen hips on them, which is, you know, heart, hip, health, elbow testing to make sure that, you know, their their progeny would be suitable. So I I didn't just test um, the adults. I tested the sisters, etc., and we took Rosie down to get her pen hips done and the vet tried to get hold of me and couldn't. When I got back to the vet clinic, they told me that they couldn't operate because they couldn't spay her because she had an arrhythmia. And from there, we found out that she had DCM, which was really upsetting. And then from there, um, I went to a specialist and the specialist happened to be one that I was at veterinary college with. Um, and he said to me, I said to him, what can I do for quality of life? And he said to me, well, you can give us some fish oil. And there was nothing on the market in New Zealand for dogs or cats, absolutely nothing. Um, and we're surrounded by water. So the logic was, it just, I couldn't understand why we didn't have this available for us in the veterinary clinics. We didn't have it available um, throughout the country. In fact, getting supplements at that point back in 2010 for dogs and cats was very minimal. Um, since then, there's been a lot of people that have come on board um, I went hunting, I found hokey oil, we tried that, her her health did improve, her arrhythmia did improve with it, but we can't guarantee that that was the hokey oil because we didn't do any massive university research. Um, 
but other people around us were noting noticing difference when they took samples of the oil and tried it on their animals and it just grew from there it's it's been amazing it's been really good um so yeah awesome and you have other very cool products that i'm seeing on your website amongst others ice cream so if i would mm -hmm. taste that ice cream would it taste good or is it sugar-free no um well it's almost sugar free but it's lactose free as well so yeah it's shareable so ice cream is shareable um so you can share it with your pet that's the whole point of having the ice cream i get owners to try the ice cream first and then they can share it with their pet um and sometimes the pets actually don't end up getting any <laughs> we have different flavors to most we have um, apple and pumpkin and we have peanut butter and banana um but they're all um elements that dogs love they're all things that are recognized generally globally um as being safe for pets to have so yeah yeah really cool. how do you get the ideas of like these new services that you offer and these new products i just um well the hokey oil was a need my, it, pretty much all of my products have been a need for an animal an animal's had a problem i've solved it and then i've gone well if this one animal has got this problem I have to take this to market so I can help more animals than just this one animal. But I need to do it in a sustainable way. So that's why we're using hokey as our fish because it's the first fish that was sustainably um, fished around the coast of New Zealand. It has the MSC certification as a species. Um, and I'm very passionate about, about being sustainable and making sure that I can continue to help animals um, and not just, you know, a short period of time and then you're out of business. It's just not my thing at all. It never has been. Yeah. Are you seeing any product in the pet tech industry that uh, grabbed your attention? There's a few things out there in the tech industry which I really think are amazing for pets. Um, I'm really keeping a close eye on the GPS systems that are out there. I'd love to see at some point a microchip integrated with um, a GPS because then you've got guaranteed um, sort of knowing where your animal is at all times. Um, so yeah, the the heart monitors that are happening as well are pretty cool. Um, they're they're just monitoring not just the heart but the the other aspects of the animal. So it gives you an indication of you know when your animal is getting sick before you notice because often animals are really good at hiding pain. So yeah, there's some really cool stuff out there. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's just uh, seeing what comes and where it comes from. What are general tips to keep your uh, creature healthy? Um physical activity uh playing with them like what are tips to keep them healthy as long as possible so for your indoor animals yeah definitely playing with them um also giving them sensory um things so for example if you've got a cat that's indoors um getting it something that has something inside it that they have to get out of it uh, it doesn't have to be anything flash you know where you can get a handy roll uh you know like a a cardboard roll tube from um somewhere like a, a kitchen handy towel roll and put something in that and then just hand twist it together and then give them that just stimulating not just the physical side but the mental side and the smell the sensory so you try to emulate what they would have outdoors as well with your outdoor animals obviously you know regular exercise um good fresh clean water shelter if you're keeping them outside away from all elements not just not just the cold but the sun as well you know making sure that they've got somewhere that's insulated and safe and out of the wind and warm yeah what are your top goals for this year as a business owner um i'm looking at doing my own podcast i've been looking at it for 10 years but i just haven't got organized um i've got some new tech on board that i'm hoping will help organize and get things more streamlined within the business which will give me the time to focus on getting my own podcast out there um we've got our one last product that i want to stick with our range which we hope to launch in the next couple of weeks um and then once that's it that that's where i want to stick with my products for now i just want to keep them as we are i just don't want to do any more products we've got such a, a diverse range of products already that all i would really want to do is add slightly different flavors to them so for example add another flavor of ice cream which we've got two more flavors we'll add at some point in the future and you know um but as for brand new products i i just want to halt it there um and and just focus on what we've got because i need to need to really get going with what we've got Love it. Well, if you ever come to Mexico, I'd love for you to teach my dog to swim. Um, yeah, we plan on bringing them to a lake near here and 
teach them that and part they're potentially missing here in the mountains although they get good exercise here Kiona, thank you for coming here today where can uh, people find out more about you and your business oh thank you so much charles i've really appreciated having you and to um take me on and um so if they want to have a look at what i'm doing they can pop over to my website that you mentioned before www.newflins.co.nz we're also found on instagram we're on facebook we're a little bit on tiktok not hugely we're on linkedin for people that are more business orientated um so yeah just jump in and say hi